Hey everyone, how's it going? So we have a few products here from Jawa. It's all the same product in terms of what the purpose is for. These are phone mount for your Tesla Model Y or 3. So they will attach behind the screen here, whether that will be adhesive or a suction cup. And we'll compare all three. And just so you have a reference, on how they will be able to support your needs in the Tesla Model 3 or Y. And this is useful for all user, mainly the ones that use their phone often and they need to reference either the navigation or they're doing Uber Eats, food delivery services and so forth. Or you just using Way in addition to your navigation uh, instead of having to look down here. I know that Tesla Model Y 3, the Refresh S and X have the phone charger right underneath the display. And once it's under there, it's hard to look down while you're driving. So for the driver peripherals, it's nice to have it on here. And also you can download apps where you can see your speed and your driving information if you don't want to glance at the center screen. So we'll unbox all three of this. So here I have a 480 rotation car mount with wireless charging. So you won't lose that capability of being to charge your phone while you have it on mount. We also have an invisible four-way car mount with MagSafe charger. So again, with a charger, so you don't lose that capability of charging your phone while you have it on the phone mount. And this version, works with phone with a MagSafe so you don't actually need to use the lapsable phone holder to mount your phone. It's strong enough to hold your phone and we'll also do follow-up videos on how it holds up during car ride or during highway speed. And then third we have a invisible four-way car mount. So this essentially is the same as this without the charger but with the same collapsible arm to hold your phone in place. And I'll show you that with the collapsible arm, oh, you can just set it and forget it. You just clip it on. I've seen a lot of videos on the web where they would unlatch the hinge with the button on top. You don't need to do that with these uh, Jawa design phone mount. Well, unbox this. These does come with a four year, 100,000 mile warranty. Very well made, a great product, if not the best phone mount out there today for your Tesla vehicle. So let's go ahead and start off with visible four way car mount. So this is essentially just a phone mount, a 360 free rotation and you can hide it when you're not using it. So it actually folds to the back. So these two folds to the back. This, you, you will always see it there. So you like that clean view. These two would be the one. I would recommend if you have a MagSafe phone, getting this one versus this one. So you can just stick it on and not worry about it. You do need a MagSafe uh, case for it to work. If you put any other case, it won't be strong enough to hold it in place. This should be an easy installation. So this is what's come in the box. You do have your phone mount. It does have this nice wood grain. So you have the black interior with the wood grain dash. This will match it fine. Even without it, it will be perfect. It's just, it's just a premium look. And this is your collapsible arm. So we'll fit up to a iPhone 12 Pro Max, uh, even the new one, uh, 13 Pro Max as well. And once you collapse it, what I mean is that in a lot of video online, there was a lot of complaint that you have to push this button for the, the collapsible arm to release for your phone. But that's not the case. The design has this roller wheel where you just roll it off and it does have a slight spring to it. Once you set it for your phone, you never have to click on this again. A lot of people on YouTube were complaining that you have to open it to get your phone out and then relatch the arm. That's not the case. It does come with an extra 3M adhesive in case if you need to take it out and put it on another car later on. Um, but these are VHB 
3M brand, very strong, but won't harm back of your display. So it does have a guy tool installation frame and you just stick that on here. So we'll go on just like that so you won't see it. These are all aluminum plastic backing and it does collapse like this and it does extend out as well. What you do is just slide it in the back here. And then we want to test it out first, how, how you want this to be faced. Essentially, it's going to be like this. Uh, you can push this arm inside later. And then driver's side. Just like that. Okay, up next, we have the invisible foldable, fall away car mount with MagSafe charger. So similar to that, foldable arm without the charger and the difference with this is this MagSafe if you have a MagSafe phone it's just stick right on you don't need the collapsible arm so let's open this up and see what's inside this may go better with the white interior because it doesn't have that wood trim and with the USB-C wire that you can run along your center console uh, the design is for this to be plugged to the rear USB-C. So we'll install this on the driver's side. Uh, this wire do run along the center console underneath and then goes attaching to the rear here. So that rear USB, you lose one of them, but not many people use the rear USB anyways. So what you want to do first is get a little alcohol, spray the back. And then just wipe it down. You see it's charging. Very nice. And when you're not using it anymore, you just fold it away. Very discreet. I have the 480 rotation car mount. So this also has a wireless charger, just like the MagSafe version. So you can run the wire along here. And the difference with this one is, is a suction cup and it's not gonna adhere to your display permanently. So this does have a 480 rotation and tango free design. Support fast charging, just like the MagSafe version. And also that silicone roller design. So once you clamp it, you don't have to adjust it anymore. So let's see what's inside this box. Definitely a larger box. Again, you have that barcode. You can scan on how to install this, but all this is fairly simple. It should take you no more than a few minutes to install. Here's the charging wire. It does have that adapter. It's B A. In case you have the older version of the Tesla Model 3 or Y. Again, this does have the wood trim. So you have the wood interior, the black interior. It will go along fairly well. But even with the white interior, I think it will match. It's gonna give that elegant look. This is the suction cup here. You can remove it, reuse it, rinse it off if you wanna store it away. Okay, if you're satisfied with that, have it in this position. Just to show you how the phone is mount. Once you clap your phone in, once you clap it in, and you want to clamp it in from the rear here, give it that extra snug. Once it's in, it's not gonna go anywhere. Most YouTube video I've seen that did review on this Jawa phone mount with the clamp, they actually push the button back here, which is not necessary. They're saying it's awkward, but that's the wrong way to do it. All you need to do with these roller balls and the spring, you just pull it out. 
And that's it. And the next time you mount, just place it in one lap and roll it back in. That's, that's all you need to do. You don't need to ever unlatch that clamp again. You have it fit for your phone size. So this is iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's a huge phone. As you can see, it can handle this weight with no problem, just like that. And of course, you can adjust the suction cup to be more in if you like it to be more flush with the screen. And you can see there's space between the screen. So even when you unlatch that, it's not going to hit your screen. You can have it this way. You can rotate it 360 and have the phone mount. So with the road tests for both mounts, the one with the clamp and the one with the MagSafe, they both show little to no vibration and they both are very stable at highway speed. So highly recommended for both. It just depends on your preference. If you prefer the mount that can hide behind the screen or the one that can rotate up above your screen.